Hi everyone, it's Jojo from Mojo Jojo Plans and today I am going to be showing you how to redate a planner um, slash make it work if you want to start it now. So recently Happy Planner um, just announced all of their planners for the 18th month um, release for spring uh, and all of these planners don't start until July, every single one of them. So obviously some of them are super cute and I know there's a lot of people that are kind of in the same boat where they might want to start their planners now. So I have gone through and was able to kind of figure out which months work best, you know, from 2022 to transfer to now. I'm wanting to start mine as well now in March. Um, so, and I'm going to be using the new uh, Jungle Vibes Big Planner. It is a dashboard layout, and I think I'm going to be using this for my new social media planner. I'm even thinking about doing, you know, social media plan with me's um, with the dashboard layout as I kind of navigate this uh, layout because I haven't really used a dashboard layout um, especially not a big, I think the last time I used a dashboard layout, it was a mini planner and it probably lasted like six months of me using that. Um, and it's been like over almost going on like two years now since I did that. So I don't even know if I really remember slash know how to really plan in a dashboard. So I'm really excited to play around with it and figure out how I can make this work for social media. I just think it's going to work a little bit better than what I'm doing right now. So, um, and I kind of want to be able to decorate this one uh, and I'm just really excited so I want to start it now so what I did is I sat down and I looked in my current planner so I went to the month of March and March starts on a Monday and um, yeah so March starts on a Monday and then it ends on the 31st which is a Wednesday so what I basically did is I just looked at that and then I went over to my planner and tried to find you know the months that kind of corresponded uh, another way you could also do that is just use the front planner um, these front pages this might even be easier I did it definitely the harder way because I like to make things harder for myself always. <laughs> but of course I have my sheets at the front here, so I gotta take those out. There we go, so you could do it this way. Okay, so this has both my 2021 and 2022, so really you only need one planner, and so you could just do it, you know, from here. But basically I just looked to see what months kind of corresponded as far as the start date and the end date, if that was possible. Sometimes it could be off by the end date, but in this case, you guys, we have, uh, let's see, from March, April, May, June, we have four months that are absolutely perfect. And all you have to do is do like covering up the month um, and then the year. Like that's all you have to do. You don't even have to change any of the days around. So I'm really excited for that. So I found that March 2021 is the same exact as August 2022. So we'll be using those. Then I found that April was the exact same as September. Then I found that May was exact same as October. And then June is the exact same as November, which that makes it 10 times easier because we literally can just go in order. So like this part of the planner doesn't get disrupted. Um, and then that would mean of 2022, we're only not using December because we don't technically need it and I'll probably save those in case maybe I mess up a spread then I have some extra sheets to pull from um, and then that way once I finish using November right as my June then I can start this planner when it's supposed to start in July so uh, and then I can use it all the way I'll, I'll honestly probably only use it till next July because that's usually what happens I usually find you know whether it's in fall release or spring release um, whether it be a 12 month planner or the 18 month planners I usually find another planner that I want to switch to by then, but at least this gets me so that way I'm not waiting till July to start it. And the current planner that I'm using right now for my social media is actually undated and I haven't dated the whole thing. So I can just set that aside and use it for something else later on because, you know, it's undated. I can just leave it. So I'm not wasting that planner. It's just going to go on the shelf for a little while. And maybe if I want to return back to that one whenever, it won't matter because it's undated. So let's go ahead and do this you guys so again March is the same as August 2022 April is the same as September May is the same as October and June is the same as November it is like so perfect like to the day we are just perfect so I'm gonna go back to back here to August 
And I'm going to show you how I am going to make this work for my new planner. I'm only going to show you with August, um, um, but just know, you know, like September, October, November, all work for April, May, and June. So I'll eventually do these ones, but I'll just show you for the sake of time um, with this video how I plan to fix, you know, the month of August to make it work so I can start it right now. So I have this one that I need to, we really just need to cover up this whole thing. And this will probably just be a colorful box covering that. And then we can put in there, you know, this is actually March. Um, it does kind of affect, you know, this, but I don't think I'm going to be using that planner, this planner to next July. Like I really don't think it's going to make it that long. So to 2022 of July, like I don't think I'm going to be using this planner that long. So I'm not super worried about it. Um, of that, if you're worried that you might want to use this and you don't want this page, you know, to be in the wrong spot spot then just don't use the dashboard for this page you know you don't have to um I actually might not use I might just kind of leave this back here for now and we'll see I don't know if I I don't know if, how I would use the dashboard yet so I'm going to leave that because I don't know if it's something I necessarily need but so all we have to do here is we have to cover up this guy and we literally just have to cover up the two and change that to one and then you will have to go in for some of the holidays and kind of just cover those up but those will just be covered up in my normal planning anyway so I've actually pulled out a sticker book from Kelva plan and she has these fabulous month stickers in here and they're like nice and big which are perfect I think to fit in with like a monthly spread especially for the big planner so I think I'm gonna actually use these and instead of correction tape which you could use I hate correction tape because it's not actually white and that's why, like, it just bothers me. Like, if I put this down, okay, I'm going to cover up that August. Like, it's just, like, I, it's white. It's not white. Like, you can see that on the camera. That's not white. It's, like, an off-white, and that just bothers me. Honestly, this sticker paper, too, um, is a little bit off-white as well, so I can feel like either way it's going to bother me. But just another way, if you're wanting to not use correction tape, you could use some just, like, sticker paper, um, you know, that you haven't printed on or done anything on and use that instead. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'll, I guess I'll just stick with the correction tape, but it's not my favorite. So this is going to be for March, and I'm going to be starting this planner, and I'm super excited about it. But then I just lay that right on top, and then it's like it never happened. There, it was always a March spread. <laughs> then I do have to go through, and we have to figure out how we're going to handle this too. How am I going to, you know, make it 2021 instead of 22? I think this one I might actually do the sticker paper, because I'm thinking I'll just try to write it in myself. I know that's pretty risky, but we'll try it and see what happens. So I think that's tall enough. I just need it just big enough. So I'm going to peel the backing off here. There we go. Peel that off. I don't need the whole thing, so I can definitely trim a little bit of this off. Just need enough to cover up two. And we can lay that down. So now it no longer says 22, it'll just be 21. And you can do correction tape first. It is shadowing just a little bit. So you could always do, you know, correction tape first and then do the sticker if that's something you're wanting to do. And I think I'm just going to go through with a black pen just to make it easy. It doesn't have to be perfect. I really don't look at the monthly all that much. So 2021. It's like it never happened, right? <laughs> okay, there we go. So after that, I'm not really worried too much. There are like two little holidays slash, you know, things that are happening on here. But I'm not going to worry about those because chances are I'll probably cover them up when I decorate and or just I'll probably not even pay attention to those honestly knowing me so you could cover those up again you could just correction tape it or use like some decorative stickers all of that good stuff 
So then we have our weeklies, which again, we're battling that we have to cover up our month and then we have to cover up and make this a one instead of a two. So it would just be kind of the same steps. I think, I think this time I'm going to try, let's see how much it shadows. If it still shadows a lot, if I go in with my correction tape first, which I believe I have smaller month stickers. Maybe not in this book. I think it's in a different book. Okay, so this is another one of her books. This was volume four, and this was her planner words. And these ones are a little bit smaller, but they'll definitely fit a lot better. So I have like my little March stickers in here. If I can peel it up. There we go. So then I would just go through and cover it all up there. Okay, then we only need to cover up that little two. So I actually have a scrap left here. So I just lay that down and then draw a one. Nothing fancy. Or if you have cute letter stickers, I just don't have like letter stickers that are numbers that are small enough to fit in here. So that's kind of why I'm just going with writing it in. I'm not too worried about that. And then I'd literally just repeat that. Like, so super easy. Um, I'll probably, I'm going to do it as I go kind of gal. So now it's ready. I can get my first week all set up in my social media planner. I will move this all the way up to the front instead. So, you know, all four of these months here, all the way to November will be in front of July. And then that way, you know, as soon as July hits, then I'll be in the actual planner. So we do need to also take care of the tab as well. So with these ones, it's hard to, because you know, we have, you know, these are colored. So if I cover it up, it's going to be a little harder. So hollow to the rescue. <laughs> I used these last year and I absolutely loved using them. And they're just some little, these are Avery tabs, but I used them last year and it was so fun. But we can literally just slap this on here and you can trim it. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this off just so it's like a little bit. I don't need all of that. But I'm going to trim it off. Or you can use even the tab stickers. There are some stickers that are tab stickers. So you could definitely use those. But I'm just going to take this tab. I'm going to take some um, tape runner on the other side. Like the side that's going to stick to my tab. And then I'm going to slap that right on there. Obviously it doesn't fit. It's not as long as it needs to be. But it at least gets the job done in covering that up and still making it cute. And you could always trim this tab, you know, so that way it fits a little bit better. And I think in here there's even smaller, or that might be in a different book now. She has so many books out. Yep, I was right. <laughs> it's in a different book, and then this one's even smaller. So I'm actually going to use this, and then we can put that on there for March. And then, there we go, then I have a little March tab a sticker so I have like all three of her books out but then I would just do the same thing front and back so that I would also cover up the back so super easy let's go ahead and go ahead and do that real quick let me just trim this off because I don't need that much and then on the same side that that sticky part was I'm just going in with some tape runner just so I can tape it down And then I'll attach that. And you know, you could do the whole going through, maybe even using other dividers that already have the month on it. You know, you could do all that. This is just the easiest way I've found for me that I think, you know, works the best for my situations and how I function. So, and then add a sticker on there that says March, voila. There we go. Then it's all fixed. So I would just do that for all of the other ones. But like I said, I'll do it as I go just because that's how I work. That way I can play around with this planner some. But super easy. So again, you can kind of decide. I think if I were to use this page, what I'll do is I'll take a long colorful box. So maybe like one of these long ones. And then I would probably go in. Hmm, because it's black, it's kind of hard. But I'd probably use a black one. Cover that up. 
and then just write in there and or use some stickers. Again, I could use those same exact stickers and then write in the 2022 or use some stickers for that. But that's up to you if you're okay with, you know, you're dipping into another month, another part of your planner. So if you know that you're probably going to use it all the way through to July 2022, then I would suggest not using, just like not using that dashboard for, you know, the first month. Um, that's totally up to you. Or you can copy it you know, and print it out if you wanted to, but I think I'm going to leave it for now just because I don't know if I want to. I probably won't, but I don't know. And I also don't have an idea for this. I have an idea for my monthly spread and then my weekly spread for social media, but I haven't really figured out the dashboard's purpose yet, so I'm not super worried about that. But hopefully this is helpful, you guys, so that way when you're starting to get your new planners in or if you're finding them at your local Michaels, which is where I found my new 18-month planners, um, I would definitely, if you're wanting to, you know, start it now, you definitely can. And I feel like this is one of those years where it's super easy because we have four months, four months in a row that work really well. Sometimes you might have to pull, you know, different months here and piece together things to get it just right. And I feel like this one, like 2022, is really easy to be able to switch it over and start using it right now if you are wanting to but i so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and i hope i'll see you in my next one bye